I tell you what, folks, this past year has been something, hasn't it? I mean, we've had everyone from the government to our neighbors telling us to stay at home, stay six feet away, wash your hands. It's like a never-ending loop of a nagging mother, but without the benefit of home-cooked meals. Now, I'm not saying all this isn't necessary. I'm just saying it's like we took a time machine back to the 1950s. Except this time, we're not afraid of nuclear fallout. We're running from an invisible enemy that apparently hates soap and water. And then there's this whole work from home thing. Now, I love my wife and kids, don't get me wrong. But there's something about seeing them every hour, every minute, every second of the day that makes you appreciate those long commutes and office meetings. I mean, who knew that Karen from accounting was the buffer between me and a mental breakdown? But let's not forget the toilet paper shortage. Oh, yeah, the big TP crisis of 2020. People were hoarding toilet paper like it was the end of the world. And I'm sitting here thinking, if it's the apocalypse, I'm pretty sure being clean down there is the last of my worries. But hey, what do I know? And then there's the politics. I mean, if you thought 2020 was bad, you clearly haven't been following the 2021 news cycle. It's like watching a reality TV show, but with less class and more spray tan. And that's saying something. But at the end of the day, folks, we have to keep laughing. Because if we don't, the alternative is crying into our third cup of quarantine coffee while binge watching Tiger King for the fifth time. And ain't nobody got time for that. So stay safe, wash your hands, and for the love of God, leave some toilet paper for the rest of us. Remember, folks, life is like an open mic night. You never know what you're going to get, but it's probably going to be a little weird, a little offbeat, and hopefully, just hopefully, a whole lot of funny. So strap in, and let's see where this crazy ride takes us next. Because in the words of my grandmother, if you can't laugh at life, then, honey, you're doing it wrong.